Site plans can be used to map out your system visually. Many elements can be added to the site plans, making it possible to manage various functions of the system. Adding a new site plan is straightforward. Upload an image of your building layout. You can cut it out if required. Holding the Shift key ensures your lines are vertical or horizontal. If you make a mistake, simply press the Escape key to undo the last point. You will notice that Edit mode is enabled for your new site plan. Select Add Devices in the ribbon bar to start adding elements. Devices such as doors and cameras can be added. Navigation controls can be added, allowing you to link site plans together. For example, to be able to navigate between site plans for different floors of your building. Soft buttons can be created to perform a variety of functions in Paxton 10. More information about these is available in the Soft Buttons video. Alarm areas can be drawn onto your site plan. These areas will flash red in the event of any alarm conditions you specify. A site plan can have many alarm areas. You can add simple labels to your plan if required. All new elements appear in the bottom left corner and can be dragged to the appropriate position on the site plan. Give your site plan a name and click Save. This will take it out of edit mode so that it can be used. The ribbon bar has many controls that may be useful when using your site plans. You can choose whether you want your plan in 2D or 3D. The left and right controls are used to rotate the site plan when viewing in 3D. You can show an events window. This can be filtered as required. You can choose to display device names or not. Alarm events can be acknowledged directly from within the site plan. Clicking on doors gives you visibility of the latest events. Right clicking on a door gives you the option to remotely unlock it. Clicking on cameras gives you instant access to live and archived video footage. Any sensors on the system will show their measurements in real time. You can use the navigation controls to move around different parts of a building or between different buildings. Soft buttons can be used for a variety of tasks. This one is set up to open or close a roller shutter in a warehouse. Any alarm areas that have been configured will flash red if the relevant alarm conditions are met. The alarms can be acknowledged to reset. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, have a look at some of our other videos.